Broiling is a very popular method of cooking in the United States. We love to broil steaks and chops, fish, vegetables, and make lovely crispy garlic bread. Today I'm going to show you how to use the tools of your La Cornu Chateau range to achieve successful broiling. Now your range is equipped with a gas and electric oven, and both ovens have an electric broiler. So you can use either oven for broiling. The broil element is controlled by the simmerstat, which is in the topmost position of the control panel. And you can see that the setting goes from minimum to maximum. Preheat is best done at maximum, of course, because the whole point of broiling meats, especially in vegetables, is to get a lot of heat on the food. If you're broiling or browning something of a more delicate nature, then definitely use the mid-range to low range. The broiler in your La Cornu Chateau oven is quite unique. Your La Cornu oven has that unique hearth shape and the broiler sits in the roof of the oven so it's slightly domed. Remember that fabulous cast aluminum shield on the inside of the door? It locks in the perfect balance of heat and humidity. Well, let's think about broiling. We use that direct heat to get all the sizzle going, get the browning done on each side, and then turn the oven off and let the residual heat uh, finish cooking that food. Nothing will dry out with that cast aluminum shield on the inside of the door. It's an amazing asset to your cooking. Now when you broil in the La Cornu oven, it is recommended that you leave the door slightly ajar so you can monitor the cooking process. Or you can choose to close the door, but only for a couple of minutes. You really need to know what's going on in the oven if you're cooking a steak with a lot of marbling. If you do leave the door ajar, be sure to pull out the drip tray to shield the heat coming up and overheating the knobs. Broiling is a quick process. The preheat time for preparing the broiler is not more than 10 minutes. So don't try to get a head start and leave it on for 30 minutes or an hour. Just give it a 10 minute preheat. And then when you're ready, pop the food in. Broiling is usually done in a short period of time, 12 to 16 minutes. Uh, so depending on the type of food you're cooking. But remember, you can always just turn the oven off and let the residual heat finish cooking the food through once it has the browning that you want. We always broil in the highest rack position. And of course, when you're broiling steaks or chops, you must use the good old American broil pan because those slats in the broil pan are going to prevent the uh, dripping fat from uh, being affected by the heat and flaring up in the oven. Now, when you want to roast things like vegetables or fish, then we do use a rimmed baking sheet. Your La Cornu oven is equipped with this beautiful gray baking sheet. It's steel and it's a terrific sheet to cook on. It's most often used for pastry, but we also cook vegetables and um, fish and different meats on this sheet. But it's great for broiling because it's very strong and conducts heat very well. It also cleans up beautifully. Now, one of the issues with broiling is that there is a, usually because we're doing it at high temperatures, the meats will render a fair bit of fat. So that's why it's important to choose the correct pan so that you minimize any grease splatters in the oven. But the great thing about your La Cornu Chateau oven is the interior surface of the oven. It's called clean emile. It's created in a way that nothing can penetrate into it. So it resists grease buildup. However, obviously when you cook a lot, you're going to have to wipe the interior out from time to time. Now the place that you always notice the greatest buildup of grease in an oven is on the inside of a door. This is true of every oven. So the way I clean the um, inside of the La Cornu door is that I take an SOS pad. It's very soft, it's very soapy. Just go with the grain, but try to stick with uh, soapy water for actually wiping out the oven because again, that's a really special finish you've got and you don't want to compromise it. Broiling will give you great results. Always turn your ventilation on before you start cooking so you establish airflow. Pay attention to the rack position in relationship to the um, burners and the temperature. And remember, 10 minutes preheat. Oh, and don't forget to turn it off when you finish cooking. Mm -hmm.